Hi guys, I hope you're all well. Uh, tonight I'm just going to basically do a video um, as per request from one of my viewers. Uh, they were after a tutorial that focused on golden highlights in photographs and pretty much getting inspiration from, I think it's Margaret Zhang, she's a fashion blogger and I think she also does photography. I'm not quite sure, I must be living under a rock because I haven't really followed her blog that much but I have taken a look at some of her images and so I think the best thing to do for this tutorial is maybe to take a little bit of inspiration from that and I'll show you guys how I would usually do golden highlights as well. So there's so many different ways you can do this but this is generally just like the way that I like to do it anyway. So we're going to start off by doing a little bit of dodging and burning. We really just want the highlights to show through a little bit more. Um, the lighting isn't too bad in this photograph. It's already sort of showing quite a few highlights on the model's skin, but we just want to really make them stand out a lot more. So I'm just going to create a gray layer. So to do that, it's alt and clicking on new layer down the bottom there and then changing this to overlay and fill with overlay neutral color. Okay, so there's our gray layer and we're just gonna start dodging just on the highlights to bring them out a lot more. Um, usually I start off with mid-tones up here and then work my way up to highlights. So I'm just gonna give it a little bit of mid-tones. You don't wanna go too crazy with mid-tones in this photograph because it's mainly about the highlights that we want to emphasize. Um, so, just going to give it a little bit more light in a few spots. And like I said, I really don't want to go too much with the mid-tones. We'll just go straight on to highlights now. And really focus on the areas that are already highlighted but we really just want to bring them out more All right. so I think I mentioned in a previous tutorial with dodging and burning if you do tend to dodge on the areas that are already quite dark and there is no highlight or there is no lighter tone it can look it can look strange um, but if you kind of focus on the areas that are already lit, it definitely helps with retouching in the photograph. So, just going to go over some of these bits again, particularly on the makeup and the nose and this cheekbone. Okay, and then just a little bit more on the forehead. So I'll show you guys what that looks like with the dodging. So it's really brought it out a lot more just by, you know, doing a little bit of dodging on the skin. And I'll give you a fuller view. Okay, and actually what I'm going to do is just blend that in with the hair at the top because it looks a little bit strange at the moment. It's always good to zoom out with your photographs if you're not really sure if it's looking alright. Okay. So we'll see how that looks. It's a little bit better. A little bit more blended in. I'm just going to actually lighten the neck a bit more as well. Just with mid-tones. And a little bit of highlight. Okay, so we're just going to focus on the face, not too many other parts of the image at this point. So now that we've got the highlights where we want them on the face, we can always move this opacity down if it ends up looking a little bit too strong. So I'm just going to leave it as is at the moment, and if it looks too much in a little while, then we can always change it. So I'm going to bring up a solid color, and it's going to be, surprise, a really golden yellow tone uh, because that's really what we want in the image and I'm going to set this to color burn and what I'm going to do next is actually click on this white box here 
and this is the layer mask so once we've clicked on that we hold down control and I and that inverts it so it'll take away the color and on this black box now it's black we still have it selected and we get the paintbrush tool and I'll show you what this does now that we've inverted it so we'll keep the opacity right down probably around six five six percent that's fine and a very soft brush and relatively large so once I start to paint over this it will bring the color through so that's what we've done when we've inverted the layer mask just so we have placed it on the parts that we want it to be on you can paint over just the highlights with the golden tone or you can paint over the whole face um, sometimes I like to just focus with the highlights because sometimes it can look really yellow toned if you go over the whole skin tone and then other times it blends in really well so it just depends what look you're after um, I'm gonna focus a little bit more just on the highlights at first and we'll see how that turns out so You can already see that kind of golden tone coming through. And if you feel like the color's not working, you can always go in and change it, which I actually think I might do just slightly. We might make it a little bit less yellow. So you can just double click on here to change it. And I might kind of make it a little bit more less saturated if that makes sense okay so we'll just use that and remember to click on the layer the layer mask and just go over that main highlight again Oops. and Alright. So you just have to be really careful that it doesn't end up looking too golden, I guess. Because that's a very easy thing to do. Okay, so once you think that the areas, the highlights are covered pretty well you can move the opacity down on this which is what I like to do I like to go a little bit heavier with the color and then kind of tone it down at the end so as you can see the tones are a lot more yellow now so I think that's pretty much where I want it to be I'm actually just going to go back to my dodging and burning layer and focus on the highlights again because I feel like they need to be brought out just a little bit more Just the main highlights though. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys a before and after now. So this is quite a dramatic look with retouching. So if we go back to the original and go back to what we've just done there, we've given it really more of a golden warm tone. And I mean, you can go as far as you want with the layers and do as much dodging and burning as you like and as much color, you know, saturation as you want. I'm actually just going to, before I finish, just to make the highlights stand out even more, I'm going to do a little bit of burning, but not too much because the lighting's already pretty decent in this shot, I think. All right. As you can see, that's made a big difference. I'm going to take another snapshot. This was the before, and this was the after. So this is definitely a look that probably won't suit all photographs. Um, I think for this one it kind of works because it's sort of got those tones already in the image. Uh, but this was the original, and this is with the golden tones. And it kind of just gives it a little bit more of a, I don't know, polished look, I think. But yeah, I hope this tutorial has helped you and I hope that you guys enjoyed it and that you learnt something from it. It's always good. 
Uh, so if you guys have any more requests, I'm definitely open to taking them on board. So uh, let me know. And thanks again for watching and I will see you next time.